It is. It is in the game. Howdy, howdy, everyone. How's it going tonight? We're back with the first of two Alan Wake DLCs. I hope everyone's having a good week. I had a bit of trouble. We're starting a little later today, and oddly enough, I was actually early with setting everything up. Like, ten minutes ago, I fire up the game, I have OBS running, I have everything set up, the lights on, everything ready to rock and roll. And then I realized the game's not outputting audio. So, I fire up a browser, play a random YouTube video, audio's coming through, so it's not my capture card which most of the time it's my capture card. I fire up the game again. Nothing. Tinker around in settings. Nothing. For whatever reason, Alan Wake original doesn't want to work. God damn. So shiny today. Um, Alan Wake original doesn't want to work with uh, audio. Which is weird because I was playing it over the weekend and it worked with audio. So who the hell knows? Because my audio setup for streaming is very much the same as my audio setup for just gaming. Um, rather than switch everything around, I, I run it through my audio uh, my stereo receiver and through the computer through the other computer and just fire up OBS and play while I have OBS open so I have no idea what's wrong with it but I apparently own the DLC for the remastered version as well or at least two out of three of them we gotta see if I can get American Nightmare to work but that'll that's neither here nor there um so we can at least do the two of them via this. Um, but before we get into it, as always, you can find me at any one of these places up here. Or the easily clickable links right there in the chat or down in the description below if you're watching this in the future on the YouTube. I see you there in the future, knowing what happens already. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird that you know, and I don't. Society could have collapsed by this time tomorrow. Who knows? But I don't know, so we will just carry on as if everything continues as normal. But I have meandered long enough. What say we go ahead and get started? Do episodes normal. Special one, the signal. I will overwrite my data. Alan Wake. Something I only know is the dark presence held my wife captive and used her to make me write a horror story that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan? I saved Alice, then wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. Oh, Loki and Thor. Somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone. Zach Boo just resubscribed for 13 months. Holy shit! 13 months. One more than a year. Thank you so much for resub, Zach Boo. I hope you're doing well. Difficult undertaking. There are mixed emotions. Shit through an ad. Heaven forbid. Oh no, not the ad. For a while, everything was about the work. Like I, I feel weird putting ads on this, but, like, I feel like the pre-roll beginning now, ad is, like, all right back. enough. I'm not a fan of putting ads on stuff, in. but, like, it seems less intrusive than the other options. I knew this place. But welcome in. How How is your day going? Yeah, mid-roll feels weird, and I, like, I'm not going to tell somebody else they're wrong for it, but, like, a lot of streams I'm, like, I'll go and hang out in. 
everything had a surreal And I'll be watching it and all of a sudden an ad will happen while something interesting is happening in the game or And it just kind of like breaks the flow of everything I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment Yeah, there's no way not to have them I think that might be why I have pre-roll I don't remember setting it up But I remember like I'll go with pre-roll is no longer human so we're starting up the signal and we are in a weird otherworld version of the oh dear diner i couldn't leave I the eerie it. feeling I'm of being carried along in a nightmare grew stronger <laughs> he just turned into a ghost they turned into a ghost are you on your own or is your wife with you at least our cutout is here if all else our cutout is here our wonderful beautiful cutout life-sized even like look at that that is that is exactly the same size as alan i'm a little mad there isn't a decoy mechanic in this game do me a favor sonny i could really for you anything you right now number six in the jukebox I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. I love them. Circulation. Yeah. It's okay, you sit there. I got you. you me. Call yourself a so far, this is pretty accurate to the beginning. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. The light ladies here and all. So how is your Thursday treating you, Zagbu? How are things? I just got done saying uh, I had a bit of an issue. We were going to play the original version for this instead of the... Uh, instead of the remaster for the DLCs. But for whatever reason... The progress made progress in my th um, thesis writing. Fun rock climbing. Looking forward to vibing here in stream. Hell yeah. Glad you had a good day and glad you made progress on your thesis. I know that's been stretching you out a bit. What do you mean? Game's giving you an issue. How is your Thursday going? Eh, not terrible. My legs still hurt from uh, changing my tire the other day. That's a bit annoying, but what are you going to do? Otherwise, it's been an extremely unremarkable day. Or two. You like rock climbed though. I just like the squat it for 40 sad. minutes. Mira was here. Ah, good. The, the glitches are still here. That's where I was. You will need weapons. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. Thank. Ooh, and a gun. This is not a gun. It is a tool and a logical process I mean, it... of elimination. It looks a lot like a gun. Can I get a shotgun while you're at it? No? No shotgun? Something had gone wrong after no. Oh, a gun. This is not a gun. Um, Sure looks like a gun. Like, oh, they have a trough. They have a trough urinal. Ew. Like, this is one of the most awkward things to use. Like, there's no good way to do it. Uh, what the hell was that? Dave, do they do they have a ladies trough? No. Okay. So yeah, if if you came into this thinking like this would make any amount of sense, boy, were you fucking wrong. Ooh, but we can go behind the counter. Can I rob the place? I have a gun. Like, this seems like the perfect opportunity to rob this place. Let's change the story from Twin Peaks to Pulp Fiction. Come on. Standy's still here. Everybody else is gone. Including my favorite people. They're gone. But, Standy's still here. Oh lord, it's the village people. Oh 
Oh shit. I have to remember my training. I didn't remember my training. What the hell was that? Oh, was I supposed to die there? Was I supposed to die there? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to die there. I think it's just I can die there. This is a great time where I would love to have like a flashbang or the There's clear that? There's clearly a collectible in there and I want it. trying to get the timing right. Well, let's see how you did. Because I'm getting just absolutely bodied. Thank you. Ooh, and a gun. This is not a gun. <laughs> the timing of that was kind of fucking perfect. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Jack Boo. Armed by Thomas Jane, Wake must now has now to exit the... Wake now has... To, am I having a stroke? Wake now has to exit the diner and find a better point of contact. Whatever that may be. <laughs> you got it. You got this. <laughs> I don't think I do. I'm starting to doubt my own abilities. Yeah, we've... I've heard. I've seen the show already. I am trapped in this corner. Got him. Yes. All right. We're just gonna... Just gonna calm down now. I did it. There's a collectible here. It's an alarm clock. It's one of ten. Apparently we're collecting those now. Are we still are we still doing manuscript pages? Have we gotten those already? Are we done with those? Oh look, dudes. Who would have thunk? Oh, a fast dude. To start. Alright, come on, I gotta remember my bobbing and weaving. I'm not sure who's the greater enemy. The the reading or the dudes. Both of them gave me issues.
Where'd you go, you spooky bitch? God damn, more dudes? I didn't even finish with the dudes you sent the first time. I've definitely lost a dude. And I don't know where he is and I'm worried about it. Oh good, I have one bullet now. Oh lord. He was right up behind me. Oh, there's bullets here. Gosh, I have one. It's good you only need one. That's dark. Alan only needs one bullet. The fuck am I, Revolver Ocelot? Like... <laughs> Alan Wake's a writer. One bullet, 18 dudes. Oh goody, a manuscript page. Channel Ocelot. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically. The That's accurate. I did reload fra frantically. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. She was startled by the phone. <sighs> Hey, there's one of those bullets. I'd love if one of those were bullets or surface to air missile or surface to surface missile. Hammer of Dawn. Can one of the words be Hammer of Dawn? About Alan. Alan, we're trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, I that joke was there, I had it. Must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. It made no sense. I deserve that one. System to work. I don't have any signal of this origin. These were alien skies. But it was guiding me towards something. I deserve that one. Hundred percent. Don't need a flashlight, I okay, it's a bigger flashlight. I I will accept bigger flashlight. What the fuck just hit me? The fuck is hitting me? Word flare gun. Oh. Oh shit. You're wow, it's a big pack of batteries. Wow. The word flare gun was probably what was hurting me. Like, that, I think that is a fair assumption. Like, in retrospect. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. This doesn't seem right. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. And cracked bone and crushed muscle. Um, can cars not fly towards me and not crush bone and muscle? You know, like, because I'm good? I feel like Alan is really underestimating the use of words like, and that didn't happen, or almost. Alan almost got shanked by the crazy hillbilly people possessed by darkness. Also, is that fucking Christine? I fear it may be Christy. Well, my plan of using the cop car as a shield did not work out great. You know. But now I have one bullet and one flare.
All right, thankfully I don't need any bullets to destroy the uh, cars. Well, it ain't fair that that car hit that car into me. Oof. Alan took the that car to the back of the head like a champ. Can I have some stuff, please? Resources? Some resources for daddy? No? Okay. Just, just making sure. These barrels look like they're about to come to life and try to murder me. Alan, have have you considered writing like not horror? Like maybe a That's a standee of of Odin. Okay. Oh, that door's all wonky. Tools. Al I would love it if a picture of Alan just popped up. Flare gun, shotgun, revolver ammo, batteries. Oh, uh, that was the best words. Those those words were good words. Although I imagine they gave me stuff, so clearly some fuckery's about to happen. That seemed like a good use of my flare. Whew. I was right. Some fuckery did occur. But, not mad about how I uh, responded to said fuckery. Oh, that's pretty. The lanterns and whatnot. Everything I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Hello, Odin Anderson. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I'm trying. You must face yourself. Follow. Me. Okay, I get it. Follow oh. the signal. Can I can I read this, please? The GPS system was supposed to lead me to Zane. But the shifts were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. Odin Anderson, the Allfather. The trickiest, geriatric, with the wittiest gimmick. The deranged patriarch with the trademark tangent. Crazy like a fox. Dig? I feel like I just awoke a sleeper agent somewhere with those words. The... I don't know how to say that. I don't recognize that word. Which is not often that I'm completely stumped on one. Popular star of the hit reality series, Barry Wheeler presents New Tricks for Old Gods. Blast out his latest masterpiece guaranteed to please gourmands. Everywhere. Moonshine, it's what's for dinner. Is available in all fine bookstores. Also available... <laughs> Deranged Patriarch Tangent? I am now lightheaded. Okay. Limited edition with annotations and commentary by ba Barry Wheeler. Flem fans take note, coming soon as an audiobook. Okay. I think that's another collectible, to be fair. Hold on. Like. Yeah, Cardboard Standies found one of six. So, um, apparently the next one might have video games. Because I think alarm clocks and, uh, these are found. Also, signs I figured out were the, I found all of the TV shows, all of the radio shows. Damn, I did pretty good. Most of the thermos, thermoses and, uh, manuscript pages. I didn't do bad. All but five of the cest. I found out signs, though, were the, uh, 
like placards that I could read. I skipped a couple of those early game, and I shouldn't have. Which are we playing DLC? Yeah. This is um the signal. It's the first of three DLCs for this game. This is pretty much what happens after the end of Alan Wake. Yes, I remember there being three. Yeah. Um, this one's the signal. The next one's called the writer. And the third one is called American Nightmare. American Nightmare is actually a standalone. Um, like, I had to buy it and download it outside of owning the other, Changes like, the becoming versions of the other games. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Wow, look at all those words. Ooh, some of those look like helpful words. I see tools over there. Tools has been a good word for me so far. Wow. No! No! I think it was revolver ammo. Lord giveth and Lord taketh away into a pit. Hey, another standee. Sarah Breaker. Sarah Breaker, Bright Falls Finest. The red hot cop chick with the lightning fast boomstick. Her debut book, The Only Girl with The Only Girl in the Bookhouse. Is that a reference to the Bookhouse Boys? Which is a Twin Peaks thing. Um it was the group of people like to fight cro the secret society of people to fight crime and like evil in Twin Peaks. Ultimately, it kind of amounts to not much in the series itself, but de delves deep into the double life of having a successful law enforcement career while being involved in a secret society. How does daddy's little trooper fit into old fashioned fraternity? I gotta be ready to catch them, apparently. Let me stand over here so I don't roll downhill, I guess. Are you a bigger flashlight? Because I would love a bigger flashlight. Oh no. Flashbang. Flares. My tools? No. Also, tools is kind of a, you know, odd use. I won't survive. All right. So by the way, this DLC is rated for like, I think an hour and a half in terms of how long it takes. So this might be a little bit of a shorter stream. Mirror guy said the gun was a tool. So apparently those get confused. I mean, technically speaking, I would argue that a gun is a tool. It's just not in the way most people think tool. Stop. Throwing shit at me. I like how I dodged and blinded him at the same time. Oh, fuck. Everybody fuck off. Come on. Okay. 
I think I survived. So I think combat got a little harder in this. <laughs> um, I'm still playing on normal. Oh, thank God, tools. Making it look easy, yeah. I definitely didn't add four deaths in the first combat of this. Easy. God. Tools is my favorite word. I love when the sky just gives me bullets. All right, keep, keep your eyes open for standees. Give, give me the sec point. Game. Giving us other things like C's or coins. <laughs> I would love there to be words that just make no fucking sense. That way. So the Dark Place is trying to keep Alan, and Jane is trying to, you know, get him out. more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. Nope, no good. He's in the back of that truck. I was keep going. I think this is, like, my preferred, like, mix of supernatural horror. Because I'm not a big supernatural horror guy. Like... I'd prefer RE8 still ideas from this. I mean, this isn't necessarily doing anything exactly new. It's not. It's reusing ideas that have been conveyed before in other mediums. Particularly Twin Peaks. Like, this whole, like... Like, you could very much make a pretty compelling argument that this might be what it was like for Dale Cooper in the uh, Black Laws. Sure, you can't just spawn behind me and act like that's okay. Fuck. This, I do see where you're getting with that though. This is very um, Shadows of Rose. Which I haven't replayed since my initial playthrough of it, oddly enough. I mean, to be fair, like, I think Twin Peaks is very good. It is very difficult, though, to recommend. Like, how do you feel about soap operas? Like, realistic, like, that's not me being a, like, ass or, like, like, that is a legitimate, like, if you enjoy, like, the campy and dopiness of soap operas and, like, that melodrama... Like, that is a legitimate element of Twin Peaks. I think it works fairly well, too. Um, because it was very much riffing on soap operas. Um, do you like absurdist, kind of surreal, like, storytelling? Because a lot of that's in that, too. Um, do you like, are you okay with not getting a real ending? Or, like, parts that just kind of, like, don't have a point? Episode themed around Twin Peaks. Yeah, it's the one where they went to the, um, the Cinnamon Festival. Like, they 100% did. It was a good episode. I don't see Barry. Oh, I remember this bit. Look, maybe, maybe that's him. That's I would... 
I remember this. This I would say scary. like give the first couple episodes of Twin Peaks because it sets it up real nice a try. But there is kind of a point in season two where a lot of people will tell you to skip it. And they're not necessarily wrong. Um it's only it's only like three seasons if you count the revival or the modern uh revival. Like it's not a very long show. Not me thinking it was a movie. No, it is a TV show. Like it's very good. I feel like you would really like some of the characters for their wonkiness. Like I feel like you would dig a lot of that. But like it it's kind of a difficult thing to recommend to people in my opinion. You know. But it is very good in my opinion as well. Like I'm not going to say it's not good. I was not prepared for this. It murdered me. There is a movie as well, technically. Um, there's Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, which was a movie that takes place right before the events of Twin Peaks. And kind of explains how more of the, uh, supernatural stuff kind of works. God damn. Still haven't finished Narcos. I haven't watched Narcos, so I have no idea how long Narcos is. Is it like a particularly long show? I'm going to fucking retreat. Fuck this, I will stand here like a coward doing this. I somehow still got hit. Come on. All right, is that everything spookily flying away? Did I survive? I heard Narcos was good, though. I still... I've not been very good at watching things lately. Like movies, TV. Like, I have been fucking awful at it. Like, for like the last, like, six to eight months. Hell, I was super excited about the, um... The revival season for, uh, Justified. I watched the first two episodes and then didn't bother trying to watch any of the other ones until weeks after it finished. And that was a show, like, I was super excited to watch that was coming out, like, new. So, like, I don't have any faith in me to, like, stay on task anymore. Really use a word of tools right now. Yes, yes, yes. No guns in the surse. While I bring guns into the surse. I had to find the key to get the door open. Oh. I'm sure this won't suck. Oh. It's gonna suck.
this one could be problematic. Oh dear. Okay, is everything dead? Um I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Oh, I told him to get it fixed. She's the key, I guess. Wait, I got the door open. Run for it. I do like how it's like kind of a repeating thing of events we've already done. Barry Wheeler, the literary agent with the with the constant ailment. The Frank sidekick with the heroic rhetoric. The owner of the most fashionable jacket ever made, and the author of in of the indisputable guide to would-be agents everywhere. Blood from a rock when the goose starts gold bricking. <laughs> Presents a new collection of short fiction by Alan Wake. Includes, included are classics like Aaron Boy, as well as numerous mortifying clumsy early works buried deep in the disappeared writer's files. Never intended for publication? That's not the Wheeler way. Get yours now. Oh, I love the Ralph giggle. I, I have always kind of like, like I tend to have a bit of a giggle pretty often. And I've decided to just lean into it in my, like, like for a long time now, I've just kind of leaned into just the fact that, like, yeah, no, I'm going to giggle like a schoolgirl now and again when something's funny. Like, for whatever reason, I just always decided, like, yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit that my laugh doesn't necessarily fit, like, me. You know? He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was moving in there. He was lost. He couldn't find the exit. Asshole. It's right there. So, it's not Alan on the TV. God, not again. It's Mr. Scratch. The shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger. <gasps> Or I got smaller. The signal was going. Oh out. no. I would have to find my way out of here on my own. This might be a thing I have to use for enemies later, and I don't want to. I hate how Alan doesn't break open the shotgun to reload it. He just kind of leans it down. Nope. God damn it. Oh, shit. Well, that seems to have worked a little bit. That was totally my plan. That was not panic at all. That one I actually kind of meant to do. Okay. I guess that blast didn't work or I was too far away.
I did not intend to shoot at that. Hey, another alarm clock. I do like also the uh, alarm clocks as a collectible in this. That's fun. I feel like down here would be a good place to hide a standee, but I have no idea where. Climb, Alan. Climb with your weak little writer arms. Also, I just now noticed that it's actually giving me a waypoint. Zane left me a page. I did not I think. I did not think waypoints would be a thing in this. Well, I can't go there, so. That'd be nice. Bigger, more guns. Or not guns, if you will. I could use a friend. Barry! Yowza. Barry. I miss you. Hey, bestseller. Looking good. You, you, you're not real. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination, just like pretty much everything else you see here. Okay. Maybe, uh, it's, it beats a blank. Insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. That's okay. fair. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS. The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. Thanks, Barry. So, hey, you on the thing is, you need to get a grip, all right? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, I love fair. my standy. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ah, baby, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages. He's like the expert. I'm not sure what Tremor, Wall, and Scream are doing for me, really. Anyway, if this is insane, and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. <laughs> oh, come on. Take it back. Don't you're still happy to out. see him. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. Can't lie to yourself, know what I'm Somebody's saying? Somebody's catch mission. must be a sucker for punishment. You? No, really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble. Thanks. Thanks for that. Ooh, flashlight upgrade. Ooh, kick him breaking shit. Hell yeah, I'll take the lantern. This big old square bit. I I do like how they like square bits activate. I do like how they keep like giving me larger quantities of things. Towards that thing in the distance. Yeah, that would be the Biltmore sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Yeah, they have like that same kind of like maybe echo on their voice. Back in the real world. Like that reverb. Or Maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. Yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Barry. I really liked Gravity what Falls. I just head? watched that for the first time, like, last year. I'm, I was surprised at how much I actually enjoyed that show. It, it was actually, like, super good. <laughs> I was actually, uh... Ooh, mama. Hey, Al. I, guess the pen is I was actually surprised it was, um... Mightier than the sword. Like, it was very much like my taste of, like, cryptid, like, horror kind of shit. Like, I was very pleasantly surprised. I could use more of those. Tom. Tommy boy. Old Tom. Yeah, it's only uh, two seasons. Like, it's a fairly quick watch. Which was nice. Unlike uh, 
Which I think right before that I watched like all of The Simpsons. Which had 30 years worth of episodes. Yeah, took me like three months. I didn't even have to use the boom or the firework. I just handled that shit clumsily like a boss. Ooh, pump. I want a pump. That's that chap. I'll hit it for you. Don't worry. Chomp don't want to help. Chomp don't get to hit. Oh, what the... Yeah, the slow-mo doesn't help me after they show up. Okay. I like how they have punctuation. Tools. Could use tools. God damn it, boom hurt me. All right. I love in a game, like absolutely love it. I feel like I am playing a game really well when, oh Jesus Christ, when I literally have to, <clears throat> when I literally have to like reload to accept more items. Like, I, I feel like a baller when it's like, oh, I can just, you know, I can just fire off one round and reload, and then I'll have more than enough room to take these new items. MB3377 is now following. Howdy, MB. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, not much. Playing a little Alan Wake. Um, have you played this before? Because we are in the first DLC that takes place post-game. I am doing great. How are you doing? I am getting... I am getting my shit rocked, though. Because they wanted to send invisible enemies. Never played it. Well, be be aware we are in spoiler territory. Because we are post-game. So if you're worried about the story of it, you know, just be aware. But how are you? How is your Thursday treating you? Ah, no! Good to hear you're doing well. 
I, uh, as you can see, am fighting for my life. <laughs> I saw another one. Where was he? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, welcome in. I, you know, of course. More tools. All of the goodies. I saw... Wish the goodies were a little easier to see. Oh, shit. That says flare gun, not fireworks. I thought that said fireworks. Nope. I'm getting, I'm getting messed. I don't know what killed me, but we're up to number 43 now. Go team. Oh wow, they set me far. Real far back. Oh no. I need. To, I have flares. I have to remember to use the flares. So. Alright, daddy's home. Since you're new here, I'll go ahead and explain what a daddy's home is. I have a bit of a back. I have a bit of back problems. As I pull up my pants like the old man I am. So, for five minutes, I have to stand. Thank you for redeeming it. I greatly appreciate it. You'll also... You'll also notice in the, uh... In the redeems, our sound effects and whatnot, feel free to participate in the joke by punctuating it with sound effects. Those are always fun. I should run away. Come on. By the way, I don't know if you've ever used a keyboard at waist level. It is not easy. So... Y'all want to hear a special way that I'm stupid? I was combing my hair, you know, before stream, like I'm one to do. Okay, I guess I can't just jump up that hill. Lord. That helped me at all? No? Okay. Um, I've had Q-tips this whole goddamn time. All this time with my ear being all messed up. I've had Q-tips apparently just like in the bathroom next to my next to my hairbrush. Never noticed. I am good at details. Um you're also supposed to be able to hear for like all of the time. So at this point, I think I'll just take the danger of putting putting those in my ears. Like, I am so tired of hearing the whine inside of my ear. It, it is terrible. Thank you. Like, I can hear my tinnitus, and it is uh, slowly driving me mad. So, you know, I think I'll risk it. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll give myself a, uh, a lobotomy or something. They love throwing... Once again, this DLC has just proven my point that this game just loves throwing dudes at you. Yeah. 
exactly. To the victor go to spoils, and the spoils in this case are being able to hear. Like, bad enough, I, I work around, uh, I work around trucks, so all day I'm pretty much going, huh, what'd you say? To people with loud motors right next to my head. You, you know? I think the booms are hurting me as well. Which I'm not super keen on. Come over here, guys. Come see my boom. All right. And it looked like that popped the, uh, the what's it called as well. Sweet. We're going to keep those equipped. Freeze, train car. That was a good Dodge. I am proud of that Dodge. You're doing great. I noticed what you're doing, and you're doing a great job. I'm very proud of you. Which, once again, that is a bit of Daddy's Home, where when I remember... That five minutes goes quick when you die twice. Um... Once again, that's a bit of daddy cam where I just give a little reassuring, nice little thing. You know. Make everybody feel all happy. Uh, that seems like a word I don't want to... I don't want to fuck with that word. We'll go the other way. The other way is almost a guarantee to be worse. <laughs> I just wanted to pick up these fucking batteries. There we go. So, the new share, I have an update, because I realized I haven't given one. Um, still going strong, still real comfortable. I have gotten, uh, I have found like the point where the back pillow feels real nice. God. But I also have noticed a small change that has really been a problem for me. The legs on this chair are way wider than they were on my previous chair. So I am constantly, like when I'm like scooting around it or like, you know, whatnot. Okay, turret seems helpful. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Turret was less helpful than I thought it was. But I do. I keep stubbing my toe on the fucking... On the legs. And it's kind of painful. Like, they're real hard. Like, they're just way longer than my old chair was. 
Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh. There was a part of me that was thinking, you know, I should, oh my God, I'm all the way back here. No. There was a part of me that was thinking like, oh, I should reset the death counter for the DLC because it's technically a new thing. I was like, no, it's the same game. I should just let it roll. We're going to end up at a hundred deaths. There we go. Promise that we'll get to 100? No. But goddamn if I don't see that happening. Am I supposed to just be running away? I gotta wonder if I'm just supposed to be running away from all this. Where are you? Trying to sneak up on me. You did sneak up on me. Yeah, all in all, though, the new chair's been kind of nice. It's a little, uh, little squeaky, but I am also a very fat man. So I don't expect much out of most things. Now, where did that shotgun go? There it is. Forty-five. Gotta remember I have other tools at my disposal. Not many, but I do have others. Only fifty-five more. Hundred deaths, hundred deaths, and you never get to play the get this game again. I, I will just ask for a refund on Steam. Sir, sure, you've owned this game for several years. I know. Cause I've owned this game a long time now. Like, and I've played it. I've played it several times even. Like, 100 deaths, they'll understand. It's like, no, 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 you don't... Mr. Steam, Mr. Valve, look at me. 100 deaths in... in a simple playthrough. On... Sure! Just hit me before I even have a chance to pick up the shotgun. That's great. I'm not sure what's worse, them hitting me or the fact that they always get three hit combos. You can boost your flashlight beam with left 
left, uh, not left, left click. I'm not this bad at video games. Like, I have evidence that I'm not this bad at video games. Alright, this, for this first fight, this whole, like, retreat, and just keep, like, lining them, seems to be working pretty well. Oh, God damn, that was a good dodge. There's a part of me who thinks I shouldn't even go for that, uh, for that shotgun anymore. Okay, now they're just showing up early. Let me immediately run away because I know dudes are coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did I miss a death, by the way? I'm fairly certain I missed a death. One bunch of goobers down. A million more to go. How dare you spawn behind me? Just fucking rude. I guess that boom got him. All right, now to get that shotgun. But I'm worried. So, I did the, uh, I did the math on it. Jesus Christ. And it looks like we're going to have about 14 or so streams in October. Coughing. Ah! 
backed up to a tree, dying. Um, but it looks like we're going to have about 15 streams in October. 14 streams, I forget. Um, which tells me... Oh, I missed this clock the first time. It's not as fun as last year when it was 13. Admittedly, that was a little more fun. Because I got to play around with like the 13 streams of Halloween. Yeah, that's fun rhyming. So, I need help from the peoples. And not the normal kind of just like, you know, supporting my frazzle, frazzle ego. Um... What the fuck hit me? Oh, there's a dude. Um. Yeah, I thought the bush was fucking me up. To be fair. God damn it. God damn it. Um, I need help from the community to recommend me horror games for me to check out in October that might not be on my radar. And if you have any ideas, you can feel free. Send them to me on any of my socials or... Luigi's Mansion's coming back. I enjoyed playing it last year. I haven't touched it since, and we're gonna we're gonna do more of it. I've already decided that. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, you can hit me up in my Discord or on any of my socials to give me suggestions for horror games I should check out. <laughs> I remember not to be precious with my uh with my ammo and i would greatly appreciate any input thank you jagboo i feel like i need to keep my fucking head on a swivel here Like, I can handle these guys just fine if they send one at a time. Alan Wake doesn't... Doesn't do good with, uh, with multiple... Multiple friends at a time. That went well. There's like a note in this uh, piano that keeps happening. That's really close to Resident Evil. And every time I keep thinking it's the same theme from RE1. Where are you? I hear you. Ah! 
All right. Can I pick up this stuff, please, now? Please? I guess it's that one thing that I actually could pick up. Through the, through the thing, make it work. I mostly just want to get to the next fucking checkpoint. I would like to play a different part of this game. Safe. We're safe in here for the second. For a second. I guess. Maybe. Okay, that was a little overkill because I didn't realize that was equipped, but it worked. Right, bask in the light of uh of that for a moment. a little frustrated like there's a part of me that thinks maybe I should be going ham with my uh, equipment like Is there something easier than normal? Yeah, easy. Um, I just have not decided to play on easy. Like, I could drop... I don't, Actually, I don't know if I can drop it down. I don't know if this is one of those games where you can... Drop it down to an easier difficulty mid-play. Um, which it doesn't look like I can. I can restart checkpoint. You know, I could do that. I like when games let you. I don't like when games go like, hey there, buddy. You having a hard time? Do you want to switch to easy? Like, no, I want to just keep failing at this. There's a lot of lights happening, and I don't fully understand how.
like these guys are getting three hits in on me before I know they're there. Or is that like, hey, here's some invincibility. Here's it. Have a tanuki suit. Like, they're giving me fucking invisible enemies. We noticed you died 37 times in a row. You good, bestie? Hmm? Like, they're spawning shit behind me. And I'm not sure if, like, I'm hitting flags by moving or breaking up words. Or if it's just, like, throwing shit at me in time. Like, I'm not sure which it's doing, and frankly, I'm a little upset that it's doing any of it. Like, I can hear them. Where are they? Burb. Enjoy your be right back. Worst part is I can see the fucking... I can see the fucking checkpoint. Checkpoint me, motherfucker. Yes! Let's go. It, it only took forever. Well, that ends well. Let's grab this fucking alarm clock. Get back in the light to recharge our health. And then, I guess... 
Oh, that's a big one. You know, you're gonna have to make a little toss here. Thinking the solution probably has something to do with those words. Really? You think? Yeah! You should probably use them. Your insight is staggered. Ah, oh, I know. <laughs> we got bridges. Ah, see, this is the way things should be. I give advice and you follow. That's when things go right. When you get up to something on your own, that's when the trouble starts. That's horseshit. Uh, Al, I'm not saying anything you haven't come up with first. Figment. Howdy, Shelvin. How are you today? Did more stuff no, just fall off into right. the fucking and it's probably thing? For you, too. you just missed me, uh... Getting absolutely bodied for a very long time in the same part over and over again. But how are you today? I had seen weird transmissions of myself before, but not like this. The version of myself I saw now sounded insane. Like a demented storyteller who was out to torment and destroy his protagonist. I can't believe that worked. I am on it. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay, cool. But glad you're doing all right, Shelvin. How's the old uh, stalker treating you? My books just hit the ground like a brick. I have a feeling I have to go this way. A lot of words I don't like here. Oh. They're my book. My book. Blaine, no. No HUD, no man's sky. Like, I assume you, like, you mean that as no man's sky, but without the ability to have a HUD. Ow, come on. You gotta be careful. Those Which sounds difficult. Words. Oh, shit. My books. So we made it pa past, and we are now in the worst place with all of the worst words. It doesn't really work. It's basically a photo mode. You have can't do any missions or anything without the HUD, and the game keeps breaking. Um, so, Silver, I'm going to ask you a very... Should be obvious to you, yeah, but... Might not be. Question of why then? Because if it's not, if it's not fun to play, why, why, why play? Yeah, we uh, we finally beat it. Um, and you want to know the sickening part? Right past that one place that was full of, uh, that had, like, the alarm clock, the t thing. Super fun, just broken. Okay, that's fair. That is absolutely fair. The way you described it, it didn't sound like you were having fun, which is why I asked. It's like, kind of worried. I'm like, you should play games you like, buddy. Don't stop throwing shit over the edge. We were literally right but, like, we kept dying right before the checkpoint. Like, we were super close to the checkpoint. The earth shook. Street lights pushed themselves up to the ground, flickering madly and spitting spark. In the shadows, Wake saw far too many figures advancing 
Ooh. I'm confused, then we beat this game. Yes, this is the DLC, uh, the first of three, called The Signal. And as you can see, the graphical glitches came with us. Um, but real quick, I'm going to run to the bathroom. In my stead, why don't you grab something to drink, grab something to snack on, use the bathroom yourself. Or, you can sit here and enjoy the clips. I will be right back. Oh, there's the egg. I'm just going for it. Goddamn egg in my inventory. Like all of the music of it. It's like, is this Ella Fitzgerald? Is this Ella Fitzgerald, motherfucker? This is Ella Fitzgerald. We're taking all of your fucking views. You will not be served in this goddamn algorithm again. I swear to God, we'll take you out back and break your goddamn knees if this is an Ella Fitzgerald song. Good for me. And they don't see it. But remember, they do not see it that way. That's what's important. Trust me. I'm sure... I'm sure she might feel the same way about herself. Like, we all got insecurities. And, well, we all, we all kind of suffer with them. But, don't, don't let it deny you any happiness. That's important. And we're back. Um... So, I had a weird uh, thing. So I ordered a new lid for my water bottle. You're weird. Because my old one had a um, had a leak. The uh, the little rubber gasket in the lid part wasn't there anymore, so it just kept leaking. And I also ordered two of these, which if you're in the Discord, you've seen me, you know, lush over these things before. These little small rig, uh, like, rigging clamps for, you know, photo and video stuff. They're just like a little clamp you can, you know, clamp on to pretty much anything and attach like a light or a camera to. And they work great. My camera right here is being held up by one. Uh, that light's being held up by one. That light back there is getting held up by one. I love them. I ordered an extra, I ordered one for the light over here and an extra. You know, because I still have, you know, the light directly behind me and up is on a light stand. That one's on a light stand. There's nowhere really good to rig them from. And so I ordered three items from the old, from old Bezos. Why did my three items that I ordered all at once, two of them being the literal exact same item. I ordered two of these. Why did they come in three different packages? That seems like a bit of a waste. Now, granted, it's Amazon, you know. Old Jeffrey Bezos is uh, not really known for being eco-friendly. Humans are all about waste. Yeah, like... But it was two boxes this size. Like, this is the box the thing came in. Like, I ordered two of them. I didn't even order them, like, two separate items in the cart. I hit, you know, plus one, quantity two, to order these. They're a little expensive, so, like, I kind of order them when I have a little bit of extra scraps. Because they're good to have around. They, they're great. I 100% recommend the small rig, uh, Things have an actual name. Multi Tom Clamp. Little multi clamp thing from Small Rig. 100% 100% endorsed by me. Um 
but I literally like put one in my cart and then hit plus one to have quantity of two and then ordered this just to, you know, because I wanted it. They're good for everything. Like the camera, <clears throat> the camera we're like looking at me through right now is held up by one. I have another one holding up that blue light over there right in front of my microphone. Like, I I love them. I love those little small rig clamps. They're super useful, especially for any kind of, like, camera gear or lights you want to put up. Like, I have another one with a longer arm on my, like, face light here on this light. They're super useful. 100% recommend them. But when I ordered two of them, I expected them to come in the same package. So I got three bubble envelopes yesterday for three items. It was dumb. And it annoyed me. That being said, I also did order something cool that, for me personally, <laughs> like not a stream thing really, um, but I'll show it off on here when it gets here. And I'm not going to tell you all what it is, but I'm super excited for it. Because it is a fancier version of a thing that I had, and I decided to treat myself. Let's... I see what they want me to do here. Oh, God damn. Okay, I see what they want me to do here. Then get them in separate boxes. Yeah, like... I would just like an option that's like, a human being will look at this and figure out whether or not this is fucked. Like, is there an option in in the Amazon uh, thing for that? I want like a person to look at it and go, this is stupid, and fix it. Because that's the option I want for my package. Sadly, no. Too expensive, too smart. I ain't got. It ain't even got to be like a smart person. Just like somebody with like a pulse and more than one brain cell to rub together. Can I? You know, what? at least they're not invisible. I got that going for me. At least they're not invisible. I didn't just go run to grab that flare. That was definitely the one I just used. Okay, these do not refill my health. That is an important thing to know. I feel like this is just a section full of dodging. I don't like how a big guy just spawned right here. Oh, sure. They don't get friendly fired. 
Okay, he got every bit of me with that. I just want to get this. What the? looks like hold on I like this move where it looks like we become a big orb of light yeah flares are pretty dope and I'm out of them this is a cool like inversion of the gameplay because, like, because, like, I think it's neat that I can, like, kind of trap or, like, trick them into coming into the light. So I'm not really using as much ammo, but they do keep throwing bigger guys at me. I like how sometimes they're just stupid enough to... Okay, that... That was just unlucky. Timing is what that was. Checkpoint. I do love these streetlights they're galloping into. I, I I like when um Hell yeah, let's go. I like when games do this fun kind of like augmentation of its gameplay for a DLC. Because I did just play like however many hours out of Alan Wake. Like, yeah, it's nice to, like, have something where it changes things a little bit, but it's still kind of similar. Tor Odinson, or Odinson, Tor Anderson, the god of thunder, the boozing geezer with the anger and the hammer. Come one, come all, face the age of murder and storm. Discovered by Barry Wheeler, this fresh new voice of a bygone era suggests new and innovative solutions to old problems. Don't you dare leave your bookstore without the best-selling self-help book, You're All Nails to Me. Forward by Barry Wheeler. Odin with that opening line. I mean, to be fair, like, he's, like, they're, the other guy is named Odin. Like, Odin Anderson. Like, they are definitely a play off the Norse gods, like, Thor and Odin. Hmm. This looks like a big ass combat arena. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do that we real need quick. To get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward. If I'm Thanks, Barry. Up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man. And no one understands you. But I'm talking. Barry. They brought back to driving for the DLC. I know how to drive game. Oh shit, there's two of them. Okay, well that uh... That lasted exactly a second.
Okay, we're safe in this corner, it seems. Alan Wake is resilient, if anything. All right, that's one of them. We'll wait for that other one to make its approach. Okay, the skidding seemed unnecessary. I think I've gotten to a point now that where the car can't actually move. Um. Oh, all in a day's work. You know, you didn't really help much, but everything could have gone worse. You know, it'd be a real dick move. Aside from throwing more guys at me. Um, if the game... I was about to say, where's the other dude? That's a wood pile. If I opened up this, like, if I destroyed the word wheels there, and it wasn't a car for me, it was just another enemy car. The woodpile is the dude. No! Woodpile, why? I also, not super keen on the fact that, like, there's still, like, fighting music going on. You mean that sick jump I just did, Barry? Because, yeah, it was. Make sure you don't bite your tongue out. Oh, there he is. I'm like, where the fuck is Barry? Another car over there. Let me... Game, I'm driving forward. Why are you taking camera control from me right now? I mean, to be fair, kind of. Barry's like in our head. Like, he's, a, he's an imaginary Barry. Hey, we opened the door. I like how they gave us a bunch of cars to do this with, not just one. Get in the car, quick! Fuck it, drive away! Oh, Jesus Christ. Back in the car. Um, Al? You, you good, my dude? Oh, 
Okay, that that was a dick move game. Okay. I think we did it. I think we did it. I almost died. Imagine I'm blasting an arrow. I got you. I got you. I, th I need to put that on the list. I need to find a better or different victory noise. Because the air horn... Don't worry about it. It was not really as difficult as before. Um... It wasn't easy. Which I love the air horn. I mean, to be fair, I have so many failure sounds. Like... That's I, I guess I do have another. Come on, man. That's too easy. I do have another uh, success noise, but I have like, bruh, boo this man, like. Like, I do have that one. That is another success noise, technically. But I feel like I have so many failure noises. <laughs> I'm worried what hunt means, and I don't know if I want to... Oh, a hunting rifle. That makes sense. Oh, I'm full up on shotgun ammo? Say less. Let's let's enjoy a memory. Hey, what are you up to? I thought this was my side of the bed. Oh, I guess this is an auditory hallucination, not a visual hallucination. <laughs> well, you clearly started the hunt. Ooh, actually, hey, uh, Jagbo, this is something you may know. A friend and I were talking earlier, and we made a joke about DVD, and it got me wondering, is DVD cross-platform? Like, if you play on, um, I know nothing. I don't sell yourself. So where the fuck am I supposed to go? Um, is DVD cross-platform? Okay. So, like, if you own it on Epic, you can play with people on Steam, or if you own it on Switch, you can play with... Okay. Big man should not be able to, like... people PS4 sports I'm on PC. Okay. I was wondering about that. Because it seems like it has a big enough player base where it wouldn't necessarily have to be. But is like popular enough where it should be. You know? Because I feel like you can get away with one or the other, but if you have both you should really be doing both.
And I was gonna, I'm gonna regret this decision. I was 100% gonna regret this decision. There we go. Nothing awful happened yet. Monsters? Monsters? Okay. Let's get this flare over here. Into the lake. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. But that is a thing from this that we didn't really like. The line didn't really hit the stream. Oh, that's never a good sound, is it? No. No, it's not. Oh, heavy duty lantern? Yes. I will take a bigger lantern. Hey, you know what would be great right now? Like, bigger, fatter, heavier weapons. Huge lantern moments. A decidedly large lantern. I just barely saw him. All right. That, uh, that went a certain kind of way. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about how that went at all. You know what really cool the thing this DLC hasn't done to me yet? Take all my fucking equipment away. I still have all of my guns and ammo and all... Or not ammo. I've been burning through that stuff like it's the 4th of July. But like, it hasn't taken away my flashlight yet. I still have the gun that uh, Tommy boy gave me. Like, it didn't take all my shit away, which the game loved fucking doing. I think this place sells lumber. And explosive barrels. That's the only things in here. Explosive barrel seems like a stupid idea to have around this much lumber. I'm fairly certain that's not OSHA approved. Dust in this place is setting off my allergies. You're not even really there. Well, my allergies are definitely here. Allergies. Food this man. Yeah, it wasn't good, like, I'm not gonna claim it was. God. guys be busting. I love that uh, song. The uh, Neil Ciceroga version of the uh, 
of the, uh, what's it called, Ghostbusters theme, where it just pretty much bust. I think it's called, like, Bustin' Makes Me Feel Good. It's fucking awesome. I'll probably post it in the Discord later now that I'm thinking about it. Let's have a memory. <laughs> Stop it! They're waiting for us downstairs. We don't have time for Alan. I knew she wasn't really oh. here. But Howdy, Mr. Large Big. How's your day house. going? But I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? We're DLC and I had no way of knowing. And the game still hates me. Yeah, um, we're playing, uh, The Signal right now. A standee. Alice Wake. Alice Wake. The... Nectropic Beauty... Nectropic? Nectropic Beauty with the Muse Affinity... With the Muse Horrific Booty. That was a... That was a... That, that was a stretch there, Barry. So thanks, hope you guys are doing well also. Oh, we're doing great. Uh, I died a bunch of times in one specific part of this, and it got me frustrated. The Soothing Oasis in the Seething Crisis. The renowned and award-winning photographer's new coffee table book features intensely personal and intimate images from a life haunted by a husband who was never there. Writer's Muse, pre-orders, accept it now. I just lost two to oh, an insurgency. Which one's insurgency? I don't think I know that game. Absolutely ready to flip my table. I can imagine, yeah. Like two, two losses, no wins. That sounds like a fucking pain. Oh, sure. I got to do a timed puzzle with this. It is. Where are the birds? I know the birds are coming. I don't know why I thought I'd get through that. Out of pistol ammo, of course. I don't think I would have made it if uh if I still had any ammo for the pistol. I think I would have died. Shotguns always for the win, like nothing gets your point across like buckshot. Oh okay camera. We don't Ooh, a memory. All alone in the moonlight. Hey, lover. Come here. I've got uh, something for you. The first memory was something that happened in the game. I didn't know what Every memory since has just been like place. intimate moments between Alice and Alan. But those are two people who shouldn't get married. Their names are too similar. Like, I'm not wrong. Like, it's weird. It'd be weird if, like, you knew a couple named, like, Bill and Will. Right? Like. Zane? Is that not their last name, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that would be worse. <laughs> There's laws against that one. <laughs> um. But, yeah, no. Like, think about it. Like, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to, like. Like, I. There, there aren't many names close to mine. So, this is not a problem I'll encounter. Um. Hey, hold that pose. That was a good one. Y'all taking pictures, but they got yeah, a foosball table. A no, or beer pong true. table. I'm not really sure. Mysterious. Maybe a little tough. You um. But yeah, no, I don't have to worry about that. Like, but I'm not we can take pictures with ourselves. Oh, come on. You write about terrible Shit. Give him bunny ears. 
You can't You're fucking up the lighting, you. Alan. You need to look a little bit like a murderer. Rafina. Oh, yeah, like right. do that again. You look handsome. What would be the dangerous? The more feminine well, version sure of my name. Before, but I was wrong. It looks good on you. Okay, I think I don't, we're done. I don't know if there hey, is like a feminine version too. of my name. Hey, things are looking up. Okay, those umbrellas are set up. That um that okay they she, there's two okay that was when i was still working when i felt i like wish i had the room to do a lighting setup like that it was a good memory do i have v-sync on it's starting to piss me off v-sync off v-sync on you know i'll sacrifice the frames i wished i hadn't seen it there we go like ralphina yeah but it's not like a real name it's not like a name anybody on earth is named A background light. Something going through. No. Fucking studio rigging up here as well. The shit. And you're using fucking umbrellas. Ralphine is the closest, I think. Yeah. Like. I was thinking Roberta, but that's closer to Robert, not Ralph. Like, I don't really think there's a good, like, analog name to my name. Like, I have feminine analog to my name. Ralpha. I mean, to be fair, like, I do have a, I have a very masculine name. Like, there's no, there's no confusing my name for... Like, there's certain, there's certain ones where they're, you know, masculine and feminine, like Ashley. Ashley goes either way. Um. Alan, you made it. That might be a joke just for me. I don't know. Um. <laughs> but like Ashley is both a man's so name and a here? woman's name. That's what you face. That's you. Which I feel like might also make it the perfect non-binary name, but I don't really I'm not gonna speak for a group of people I'm not a part of. Um He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no Thank you. I I pride myself on on comedy. Um <laughs> that fell fucking flat, Ralph. What the fuck? <laughs> Or like a uh, man named Ashley that I can remember. I did just read a book by written by a male Ashley. From my understanding, Ma Ashley started as a masculine name and was later um, adopted to be a feminine name. It was coming. Shut up. Uh, Kim, I believe as well. But I do believe Kim being a shortened version, whereas Kimberly is the feminine. I forget what the masculine version of it is. No, I also know a bloke named called Daisy. Like, is that their actual given name, or is that like a nickname? Because I can see that being a cool nickname. Oh my God, Ashley Puppet Hand. Stop thinking and just let go. TV will rot the brain. Um, am I supposed to be? Oh, I am supposed to be. I'm not even sure what's hitting me now. There's like a TV at my ankle. Stairs. Where's the other? And I'm dead. Here your body as it crashes into you. Son of a bitch, this is where the fucking... Oh, wait. I'm being beat senseless right now. Until he gets for having 50 TVs in his home. What is he, a Rockefeller? I say when there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screens, nine screens facing me right now. Like there are literally nine screens surrounding me. in just about every direction. 
not all of them are being used actively. Yeah. I feel like mine's more of a problem of because I'm like a borderline hoarder. Like I am, I am mere moments away from just like completely losing my mind and just collecting garbage. Alan, you made it. This area of the dark place is calmer, at least for the time being. We can talk here. Oh wow, it really does just lock you in this little ass Zane, room. How do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you, even as we speak. Darkness. Two, three. Oh, on, you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight TVs in this room. I'm right here. That's not me. It's just I don't know an echo, a hallucination, the dark presence. No, the dark presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. I just gonna bother shit out of me if I can't remember what Kim is short for when it comes to a man's name. But yeah, there's a bunch of names like that where, like, the abbreviated versions are shared between, like, gender binary. Um, Sir Kim. Kim is also a, uh, very common last name in... Korean culture? I want to say Korean. I could be wrong. Uh, once again, I don't want to speak for a group of people I'm not a part of. Stop thinking and just let go. Alright, we're gonna try something. It may work. Okay, that worked real well, and I kind of am mad it took me to, to the second try to do that. This feels kind of boss fighting. Like, do I jump down? Because this game is... This game has punished me with fall damage before. Like now. Really use some more uh, flare gun ammo. Flashbang us, the players. No, that's me. That's that's still me doing it. <laughs> um, I feel like the game's trying to force me to go forward, but little do they know, I will just stall. There's ammo to be picked up and goodies to be found. And I feel like something's about to come flying at me. Okay, that one got through, so it's probably bad. You know what? I'm almost 100% sure I never actually played this DLC. Like, I am I am mostly certain I never did. Like I would have liked to it. Like I probably should have before right now. 
I thought that was the sign for uh, vodka. Um, the club of um, not Vinny Gognetti. Um, the other dude, the Russian Vladimir Lem, from Max Payne. Ooh, I think I have a one-liner for the end of this fight. Which I really wish I kind of had at least one more flare gun round for. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. But yeah, like, I think we're at the tail end of this. This feels kind of last boss fighty. Oh. Oh, this boat's getting closer. I just realized the boat's getting closer. Whew. Okay. Be gone, boat. <laughs> I'm glad some of you have faith. I don't. There's fucking dickhead. Hartman. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really way. This is a weird game to see in first person. And now we're a bird. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Lord, 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 Lord. This is what it feels like to shoot five go. I'm fairly certain of it. Yeah, I was right. That does feel like uh or that, that does feel like a boss fight. Five Gum would do this to you exactly. Let me ho hover over the mute button. Because 30 seconds of David Bowie, I had to mute <laughs> for the YouTube upload the other day. Okay. Two and a half hours. Took us an hour longer than normal. Like, not the 30 seconds. Yeah, and I'm convinced some of it wasn't the actual song playing. It was me humming and mumbling to myself of the song. Because I like that song. It's real good. Space Odyssey's a good song. Yes, we're going to skip that. But that's the first DLC. We made it in just under 50 deaths. Uh, come back Tuesday. Sad gaming. Exactly. I I ain't even using 100% of my power. Um, but yeah, come back uh, Tuesday for the next DLC, The Writer, which I think is weirder. I think The Writer is actually weirder. I think this one's more combat focused, whereas that one's more like puzzle. It, it actually kind of was. This DLC was harder than the whole game. as I awkwardly try to remember how cameras work. I got that when I was 16 in my kitchen. About 10 years before everybody else decided to get an nautical star tattoo. <laughs> I actually have two of them. And I can't show the other one because it would... Like, I don't have a way to uh, get a camera pointed at it. Because it's all the way down on my calf. Which is actually the more interesting of my two tattoos. The other one's a deep dark place. At at the bottom of this bottomless hole. <laughs> um, but you know, I have another one down on my calf, which is the more interesting of the two I have. It's a uh, skull and crossbones that I drew 
and my dad tattooed on me. Practice the stretch so you can raise your leg up to show us. I probably could actually, like, get it in view. It would just be weird. Yeah, I only have the two. And actually, this is a weird one that I feel like is uh, good for the old discussion. Put a pick on the Discord. Yeah, that's actually easy. That's way easier. Um, I kind of am at a point where I'm no longer interested in tattoos. Like, I'm fine with the ones I have on my body. I'm not, like, I don't regret them. I want Ralph to practice his stretching and said, I stretch all the time. Like, here. He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape. So, my problem isn't the content of tattoos. My problem is that tattoos used to be more of a niche thing. And nowadays, it's just like, oh, cool. You had disposable income at some point. Like, that's all, I feel like that's all they are anymore. Like... The artistry is kind of like corporate now. Like, it kind of falls into the, I want to be different, just like everybody else, kind of thing. Like, the culture around it changed. And, like, that kind of got me. Like, like I grew up, they were very normalized. Like, my dad was a six foot by six foot, you know, big biker guy covered in them. My mom has a bunch. Like, <clears throat> there, are t there are good ones. I will say there are still examples of good ones. But I feel like it's like, you can almost play bingo with the tattoos people have. Like, realistically, you could probably, if you, if you knew enough about the trends and kept up with it, you could make a very good set of bingo cards. And you could probably go to any hipster bar and... Play a good game of bingo. Hips are tapped from the wannabe, from the wannabes. It sounds pretty cliche. I mean, can you though? Like, there's a mic. There's any time somebody's like, "Oh, you can tell about a large group of people." They're generally talking bullshit. You know. While I agree, there are some that are more like you can clearly tell. Like, yeah, that's a bit. You know. It's a bit more of the rugged, like, original look. Whereas, like, nowadays, it's like... Like, I... I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Like, back in my day, the people who had tattoos were, like, the fringes of society. And now it's like, well, this is David. He's a middle school teacher. And he is covered in ink. Yeah. That's it. Well, so I have a problem with that, too. Um, I tend to have an issue with anybody whose personality is mono, like, I don't know the correct word here. Their personality is a monolith. Like, everything about them is based on this one thing. They have no other facets of their life. They solely have this one thing. Like, I'm somebody who revels in the eccentric eccentricities of life. You know, like I generally, hold on, let me throw that in there real quick. I mean, there's something going on. Um, I tend to like the eccentricities of life. Like, I have a lot of hobbies. I have weird hobbies. That's why I didn't notice it immediately. <coughs> um, but yeah, like I tend to. I tend to like that. I'm, like, reasonably well-read. I, I have an eclectic sense of things. But I talk to people sometimes, and they have one thing about them. That's it. That's the only thing in there. And I feel like that's just a weird way to live your life. And it tends to annoy me. Honestly, it used to be real bad. It's gotten way better. Potheads. Potheads used to annoy the shit out of me with this. Because it used to be, and it's far better now, where 
people who smoked pot tell you to fix what they like. That's true. Like, don't get me wrong. That you're not wrong with that. Like, um, but I mean more like the people who are clearly telling you and there's nothing else there because you'll bring up other things in a wide litany of things and they have no interest in it. And like I said, potheads are my good example of this. It used to be, you wouldn't... Generally, hipsters tend to have like the same five things that they really enjoy. Just by technical definition, I think I'm a hipster. Like, what with my Ventus cameras and... Well, that's why I'm saying it used to be. It used to be you would meet potheads and their entire personality was weed. Nothing else. They had no other interest. It was weed and weed-related things. Oh, who's your favorite band? The Grateful Dead. Oh, what do you do for fun? I smoke a blunt. Like, cool. Cool. All of their clothes have it on. They're still out there. Don't get me wrong. It's probably the same ones I was mad at 10 years ago. But, or mad about 10 years ago, to be fair. They like pot's killing that many people. Um, but like that monosyllabic personality. You know? It annoys me. Or it doesn't annoy me. It just, I don't find those people interesting. So I don't waste any energy trying to get to know them. You know? Because I'm also not going to tell somebody they're wrong for living their life a certain kind of way. But that doesn't mean I have to be a part of it. Um, but yeah, like that, that always annoys me. I feel like tattoos have become a very similar thing. If I was couples that become one person instead of staying separate people. That one I agree with. But I often find that like occasionally I prefer them as two, like two people merged into one person and two separate people. Like, there's certain couples I've met in my life where it's like, you know, I like when the two of you are together. You Both of you are far, far more fun when you are together and not separate. <laughs> like, there's a, to be fair, I'm not a catch. I'm not like that pleasant. Thank you for following and subscribing and all that to my Twitch channel. <laughs> but like that's a nice way of saying you don't like them well that's the thing it's like you can like somebody and not enjoy spending time with them in certain instances like that's fair but like I find that like my personality very much changes based on where I am because I have very bad social anxiety so if I'm in a busy bar or like a busy like you know concert venue or something I'm not the most fun person to be around but if it's somewhere familiar and, and like, you know, or like more calm, honestly, that's been the hardest thing back, like back before when I actually had a social life. That was one of the hardest things about quitting smoking. It was the fact that like, if I went to a bar with my friends, which my friends generally wanted to go to places that had people in them. I would, you know, rely on the, hey, once, once an hour I get to go stand outside for five to ten minutes by myself, and nobody's going to talk to me, and nobody's going to, actually it's a lie, people would talk to me all the time and walk up to me, but that's neither here nor there, but like, that's, that was one of the hardest parts about quitting smoking the first time, which I've clearly failed at, because I still smoke, um, Yeah. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Because this is a fucking Marvel movie. Um. Hey. But yeah, like, I often find that, like, unable to log into Epic services. I'm on a computer. Like, a full on computer. I want to see how we did. But first, I don't don't like being the center of attention. I don't mind being the center of attention. Hey, we found all of the alarm clocks, but we missed one cardboard standee. I'm actually pretty proud we found all of the alarm crop, alarm clocks. Like, having never played this before, 
I want to know which Nandi we missed, though, and where. Probably in that awful part. I've killed so many people with the revolver. <laughs> Friday, th Freddy 13th, shaking in his boots. Yeah, five, I missed five chests. And I think they're only in the main game. The coffee thermoses, I missed a bunch of. But like, Freddy 13th. Oh, Freddy Krueger? I feel like we that whole conversation is the beginning of a fucking Friday the 13th movie. Or no, that's not Friday the 13th. That's Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Cougar is sexy and <laughs> Exactly. Um, like, I feel like that's the beginning of some horrible reboot where it's a chat room and people are talking and they're like, oh, who was that guy who used to fucking, you know murder children and then our parents burnt him alive in the basement of the elementary school uh, was it was it Fetty Cougar no that's not it. it's close and he's just like in the background whispering say it say my name this is Heisenberg apparently look at that well I bet he's not watching in uh in 120p Jagu out here watching watching streams at fucking 12 pixels I have you in 480p right now I I broadcast in a lovely 720 by 60 and if you go and watch the YouTube videos, they're separately recorded in 2K. Okay, I, I don't broadcast in 2K. I, I have the internet for it. I do not have the uh, the cameras and all for it. Um, But if you go and watch the YouTube videos, they're a lovely 1080p. Sorry, 1K. I actually, it's a pain in the ass because my monitor output is 1440 Want to see what route to see messes one hour after I send it out. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. All right. So, we got a good little stream under our belts here. Which, once again, um, if you have any ideas for um, October's hollow streams thing that I'm going to be doing where every stream is a different I don't have a button for YouTube Jagboo so like that one you can always beat me to because I have the type of try making it for the beginning next time oh it's lovely whenever you pop in don't don't stress like wonderful every time you pop in it's always great to see you You're wrong yes you do no, I misunderstood you I was about to say I do not have a YouTube button I didn't make one <laughs> But I am looking for indie, lesser known, or just like good recommendations for horror games that I haven't played yet. So, like, put those in the Discord if you have any suggestions. I have a nice little channel, even for suggestions. Um, or find me at any one of the social medias down there. Oh, that way. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, if you have anything off the top of your head you want me to check out, because all of October, for every stream, we're going to be doing a different horror game. Because it's Halloween, and that's the thing we'll be doing. That's a fun little Halloween thing I did last year, and I thought it went well, so we'll do it again. I'm going to squeeze the blood from that stone. Um, the, I think the only repeat is going to be Luigi's Mansion, because I really enjoyed playing Luigi's Mansion. Um, actually, I do have a question. Would y'all rather see, and I don't know how long it is, so I don't know how it's going to work out. Um, would y'all rather see Separate Ways at the end of September? Is that a horror game? I don't think Conker's Bad Fur Day is a horror game. 
that's more of Zagbu's thing than mine, but I'm fairly certain it's not. Um, separate ways is coming out at the end of the month. The uh, the Resident Evil 4 DLC. I want to play it, but I don't know if I should throw it in October or just try to squeeze it in at the tail end of November. We'll have a little bit of dead space at the end of uh, September, I think. Because Alan Wake only has two more streams, and I don't want to start something right before October, so it'll probably be a little a la carte stuff. Dead Space? Just a weird game. Hmm. Like, I don't mind checking it out. Like, I, 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 I play things. I play video games. I swear. Um, I already did all of Dead Space 1 and all and the remake. And Dead Space 2, I'm kind of waiting. I'm kind of dragging my feet on Dead Space 2 because I don't know if they're going to do a remake of it. And I'd like to do them in tandem. <laughs> but yeah. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Anywhere up here or in our Discord. Which is also filled with lovely people. Um... I think that's it for me. I keep coughing. And I'd like to eat these Pop-Tarts I have next to me. They're raspberry. They're raspberry Pop-Tarts, and I'm very excited. I say that as though... I say that as though I haven't already pretty much eaten the whole box. I've been snacking on them all week. And, uh... They're very tasty. I highly recommend the raspberry Pop-Tarts. Because I didn't even know those were a thing. But I'm getting out of here. I hope you all have a very lovely night. Thank you for hanging out, Jagboo. Thank you for hanging out, Mr. Big Lars. I will catch you all Sunday when we do something new and exciting that I haven't planned yet. It won't be Alan Wake. Next Sunday probably will, but not the one upcoming. But I will see you all later. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Ooh, actually, Shagbu, you're, uh, you're streaming tomorrow night. You know it'd be cool? Y'all went watch Shagbu as well. Probably playing more Sly? I think you're towards the end of it, you said? Okay, wait, King. Hold on. We can make this work. Hold on. That hurts to look at. Oh no, don't don't raise it. Oh wait, is this what we want? Oh outlast. Um Okay. Go back I wanna see. Wait! I would have loved you forever. What is happening? Oh I miss it. I miss your outlast streams. Those were fun. So <laughs> So what just happened? I'm so many elevator. naked men. What the fuck? I'm dying. Tight. All right. So many naked men. And with that, I'll leave you. I hope you all have a very lovely weekend. I will catch you later. Bye. Christ. Ooh. I hate those things. I hate those things so much. They're gross and skeevy and... Oh no. No, no, no. But we got what we came for. I actually never fought them with the pistol.